What are you waiting for? Good morning. It's a new day here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Still a bit overcast. I can see a little bit of blue up there. I've got my trusty dog here with me. I don't suppose you would say that trusty dog. That's like saying a trusty car. I've got my dog with me. He is trusty. He's a pup still. Not quite a year old. He's almost a year old. Wow. At the end of the month, I think he's going to be a year old. I have to double check that, but I think so. So, I've got my pup with me, and we are going to head out on the trail. I'm going to let the geese out, go for a run. I don't know. It's pretty early this morning. It's like 730 I guess that's not too early. I'd hope to get out here earlier. I love it, love it, love it that the sun is already up. I love the long days filled with sunshine. Have a great day. <laughs> okay, check it out. <laughs> it's way up the hill there. What is that? A big goober on the tree. Is that a mushroom? It's just a big goober. And this is a big tree but I think it's dying because it's growing right off this rock here. Let me back up then you can see it better. It's just hanging there. Is it dying? It's between these other trees. The branches look pretty bare. So I have a little story. When I was a little girl and I'd go and visit my grandmother We'd spend the night at her house, and her second floor bathroom didn't have a shower, it only had a bathtub. So we, and it was an old clawfoot bathtub, and we'd have to take baths instead of showers. And she had towels that were line dried, so they were kind of hard, and I didn't like that. I was, a, I was a real picky kid. I, I don't know that I was very joyful to have around. <sighs> so houses have a scent to them. You walk into somebody's house, I mean, if you walk into my house, it probably smells like dog and cat because we have pets. And when I was a kid, I hated that. When I go to somebody's house and it smelled like a dog, and the first time we had a dog, my family would come to visit, and I'd say, does my house smell like dog? I was so worried about it that my house smelled like dog. And back then, we just had a golden retriever. They were kind to me, and they'd say, no, it doesn't smell like dog. Anyway, I'm sure my house has its own scent. And sometimes when I walk in, when I've been gone for a while, I can smell it. And I'm like, ooh, it smells like dog in here. But, you know, I guess when you have two dogs, your house sometimes smells like dog. Especially if you take them out in the woods and they go in the swamp and get all muddy and wet, then it's wet dog. Mm -hmm. And we have cats. So there you go, pets. Smell of pets or no pets. I guess I'll take the smell of pets. <laughs> I loved my grandma. When I was a teenager, she had a stroke. And she was not the same after that, not for a long time. She came to my wedding. She's in my video. I can see her in there, this little old lady. But she wasn't the grandma that I knew growing up. My grandma, she was like Speedy Gonzalez. And I'd have to run to keep up with her. And she wasn't running, she was just walking. She was super fast. And she would go and she'd get the stuff she needed and she'd go home. There was no sitting around. She did not like to sit around. She was a speedy lady. My grandma's house had this scent to it. And I remember I would take a bath and take the towel and I'd dry off and it would have, it smelled clean, but it had this old lady scent to it. It was years later that I found this bar of soap. This is, I should suppose I should have it upside down, an Italian bar of soap. And when I opened this, I was transported back to my grandmother's bathroom on her second floor in the summertime with the windows open and the breeze blowing through and this smell. Oh man, I'm going to get emotional now. I never used to get emotional until like this, until my son passed away last fall. Now I cry at things like this. I just love grandma, so that was a, a nice a nice little surprise when I found 
this, this soap. It just brought me back to my younger days at my grandma's house. And now you just heard a long, long story. It's a remembrance of my grandparents who, they're all, they're all, they've all passed away now. And I miss them. And I'm recording on my phone and I'm getting a call. So I have to end this right now. Hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope you enjoyed my story about my grandma and a bar of soap. Okay, answer. Bye. Hey, you. Yeah, you. What are you waiting for? I told you we were going to let the geese out. You ready? Come on. Come on. They're ready. They're definitely ready. Wilder, where are you going? Wilder, come on, boy. <laughs> come, let's go. He's a bit afraid of the geese.